everyone, welcome to my class. I am very happy to say that you all are learning. I am receiving your replies through my WhatsApp number and email ID. So keep watching and keep learning. Let's enjoy today's class. Here are the replies from my lovely students. Today we will discuss parts of hardware. That is CPU, computer, memory, power supply, motherboard, ports and modem. Hardware is the term given to the machinery, various components and equipment that are essentially needed for the system. It can be external or internal. So the first hardware we discuss today is CPU, that is central processing unit. It is the main memory of a computer system that is integrated with a microprocessor and the memory unit. The microprocessor consists of ALU and CU. The motherboard is an integral part of the CPU which contains the microprocessor and the memory unit. So a CPU includes three main parts that is arithmetic logic unit, control unit and memory unit. So you can see a microprocessor chip which is a hardware. See and it can be fixed uh, inside the CPU. This is also a microprocessor chip. So this is the figure of a CPU, it takes inputs from input device, then will come to the CPU, it has three parts, ALU, CU and MU, after that it will give the results or the process data in the output device. In a human body, the brain takes all the major decisions to enable the body to perform various activities. So in the same way, all major decisions in a computer system are taken by the CPU, that's why it is called brain of the computer. So the, the CPU consists of three components as I told you ALU means arithmetic and logic unit, CU control unit, MU memory unit. These three uh, we had seen just before the figure, just before the block diagram all the three things were mentioned. So we will discuss the first part. Arithmetic and logic unit. The computer performs all arithmetical and logical operations through this unit. Arithmetic operation includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay, and logical operations means all type of comparisons like greater than, less than, or equal to. So this is done by ALU. Okay, the next one is CU, that is control unit. The control unit controls each and every part of the computer system along with the peripherals. It retrieves data and instructions from the memory and send the commands to various part of the computer. So peripherals in the last class I told you all the devices which are attached to the computer are known as peripherals. Okay. Next is memory unit which is the last part of the CPU. The data and instruction which are entered into the computer system through input units have to store inside the computer memory. So it provides space for storing data, instructions and final result. So memory unit we will clearly uh, discuss after this break. Now let's have a break and do some activities so that you will feel relaxed. So we will discuss memory unit after the function of CPU. The main functions of CPU, first point, it stores data and instructions in memory which can be accessed for processing. Second point, 
it process data to give meaningful results and the third one is it controls each and every operation of the computer including the operations of all its peripherals okay so these are the functions of central processing unit that is cpu next we will discuss computer memory it will come under memory unit so it is a basic unit of a computer where it can store data and instructions you can see from the figure clearly memory is of two types number one primary memory and number two secondary memory primary and secondary memory now see primary memory ram and rom are primary memory whereas optical disk pen drive hard drive these are coming under uh, secondary memory okay now this is various measurement of storage area uh, this is very very important you have to remember uh, one byte equals to dash bit one kb equals to dash byte like that mb gb tb pb eb and zb so this is your homework i'm giving one hint for the homework you have to watch my previous video which i had uploaded two days back okay so get the answer and send me the correct answer so what i will do i will display your name on the computer screen just imagine when all will see your name and how will you feel mm, will you feel good exactly so don't waste your time immediately go and watch my first video clear have a nice day